Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to cook an easy to make Spanish seafood paella made in a frying pan. So let's begin. Okay, so nice 30 inch, no 30 centimeter frying pan. I've just got this here for show. This is my proper paella pan. I've used it a few times, but only when I cook for, you know, like, I think this is a six, six person, or it could be an eight person one. Lunch is ready. So I'll chuck this away for now. By the way, I've got my mixed seafood here, frozen seafood. It's got clams, mussels, um, prawns, fish, um, well, a bit of everything. Today I'm using the long rice instead of the round rice. We prefer this now. I'm using a, um, this is broth, fish broth, though it also has, um, it's got fish, it's got onion, leeks, and it's got prawns as well. And olive oil and garlic. Oh yeah, it's got cod, it's cod. The fish is cod. So we'll be using this. Olive oil, salt if needed. Then I've got a bit of red pepper. Um, I'll leave a link to this because um, this was a huge pepper which I buy and then I I chop up and freeze it. So if you want to know how I do that, there's a link in the description. A bit of onion, not a lot. You can put more if you want. And three garlic cloves, which I'm not going to bother to chop today. I'm just going to put them the whole like that. Then I've got some smoked paprika, brand new jar. And I've got some real saffron. So I won't be using the um, yellow food colorant. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm just going to get a bit of warm water in here and add the saffron. So warm water there. I'll put the saffron there and give it a stir. See how it's changing colour already. So we'll leave it there until we need it. Okay, so we'll turn the stove on. I'll turn it up to um, number seven. And I'm going to add about four tablespoons of olive oil and we'll wait for this to slightly heat up. You don't have to, you can just add the you know the pepper, garlic and onion but I'll wait for it to heat up slightly and look at the how yellow that is isn't it? It's amazing how them little strands like when you've been out drinking beer all night isn't it like the next day hmm this one is it's a different brand which I bought try and get it in the camera which I bought the other day I'll get it ready spell it hmm smells really nice so I'll just leave it there nearly opened and we'll wait for this to to um, heat up. I'm going to put this away. Don't need the olive oil anymore. Oh, by the way, I've got the rice here. Um, I'm going to give it a rinse. So basically what I'm going to do, I've got one of these small things. I just put it like that and pour water over it and just let the water, you know, come all out. That way the rice stays there. Right, this is good enough to go. So I'm going to chuck in the onion. I'm 
garlic cloves and the pepper and we'll soften all this up I could turn it a bit higher if I wanted to but I'm in no rush today you know so let's get this all browned up okay so this is ready it's all nice and soft slightly browned so what I'll do is um, I'll have the rice I've washed it up look that's even stronger isn't it so I'm not going to add any salt because this broth I'm not too sure if it's got salt on or how much salt it's got. I bought it in Lidl, my last shopping trip, and I don't usually buy it there, you know. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Just add a bit of broth, just a little bit. And I'll add the rice. You probably have to add a bit of broth in here. So as to, you know, it's a problem with it, you know, once it's wet, it sticks everywhere. Yeah. And I think because I'm using the the fine long grain rice, I think that sticks even more than the round rice. Okay. So this I'm just going to mix everything about. Oh, lovely smell from that smoked paprika. So, we'll just leave this here for about five minutes of the same heat. So, if you want to see me make a paella in that big thing, it does fit here by the way because this is a big one, it's only like about a centimetre all round that doesn't fit. This is quite big, it's bigger than you think. Um, leave me a comment below. I'm going to, I'm trying to get my, uh, one of my gardens ready. And it'd be good if I could cook there sometimes so that's planned to cook outdoors you know I'll have to think about that one we'll see right so that's been on here for about five minutes roughly hasn't it so what I'm gonna do is add the um, fish and seafood broth This is a litre, but I think that with 70-75 CL, so about what a bottle of wine has, will be enough. And this, I'll put it back in the fridge and I might make something with fish tomorrow or I could make a soup. We shall see. Oh, and let's give this a move about. Oh, how it smells. It's beautiful. And what I'll do, still on seven, I'm going to be cooking it all on seven because I'm in no rush. I'll put this lid on. I'll leave a gap there, you know, so that it doesn't, when it boils, it doesn't spit it everywhere. 
and give me extra work for cleaning up later. Still looking good, isn't it? That'll go in later. We'll see about this because I put the smoked paprika in. By the way, paella is overrated. There's no special about paella. Not even the Valencian one. I think it's just made, you know, it's just a gimmick to rip off tourists that haven't got a clue. Because I have been to, um, well, I've lived on the coast. I've been to Valencia and around there, and I've eaten, I've eaten paella. And to be honest, it's always been absolute rubbish and well overpriced. Too overpriced. So. That's my thoughts on Pager. It's just a gimmick, overrated gimmick, made to rip off tourists who don't know better. What are your thoughts? I'll probably get, um, I'll get bombed by the Valencian people. Anyway, Let's wait for this to, um, you know, to cook for the water, to the broth to evaporate, and then I'll shove the the seafood in. And I have a salt check, by the way, obviously, because I don't know about, you know, the broth if it's got salt or not. So I'll be back. Okay, let's have a look at this. Right, so once the stock has reduced, and the rice should be about halfway done, I'm going to have a salt check because I'm not sure how much salt that broth has. I'm just blabbing away waiting for this to cool off. Well, you know what? That broth from Lidl has hardly got any salt. So, we'll add some salt. It's a long time since I had to do that, you know. The rice is nearly there. So, what I'll do now, just a minute, let me have another chip. Mmm. Much better. Much better. I'm going to add the seafood. Just going to chuck it in there. But oh, that's a big um, muscle, isn't it? So let's spread it about here. I hate these, um, what do you call them, beards, or whatever you call them. By the way, before any bright spark decides to slag me off here, I'm using frozen, I use frozen seafood nearly all the time. If you can afford to, you can get the fresh one. I can't really. Well, I can, but I don't see any point in it. Right, so we'll cover this back up. Let's give it a, a well. And we'll leave that there for about, I think, five minutes, still on the same setting on medium high. Oh, bloody hell. Got to add this juice. The saffron. I'm not. That's because I'm. I'm used to adding the. You know. 
yellow food colouring that I forget that I've got this. I'm going to put a bit of water in this, too good to go to waste. Look at the price of saffron. Okay, I think that's okay, that'll do. So I'll cover this back up, I'll leave a gap still, and I'm going to leave it there for about 5 to 10 minutes. I'll check back in 5 minutes and see how much juice there's in, and I'll let you know. Oh, by the way, cheers. Right, let's have a look at this, shall we? It's been here for about five to seven minutes and you know what this is done look at that nice and thick even though there's juice you know flowing out from there once I bloody hell there's enough here for four people once I turn this off which I'll do now I'll turn the extractor fan off also no I'll leave that on so number one I'll leave it there for five minutes and it won't be as watery, you know. Let's have a look at this taste. Beautiful. Beautiful. Easy to make and come over and eat some. At least I won't rip you off, like they usually do, when you go and eat it at these places, you know, on the beach. And, well, nothing else. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Cheers.